one on the ground. We are on storm watch tonight, and our Dave Aguilera is tracking the latest round of snow headed our way. Dave. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting uh, setup coming our way over the next couple of days here. Several systems coming together to bring the change. First one was a cold front that came through today and uh, chilled us down into the 40s. Behind it, we're getting some wind tonight 45 mile per hour in Bertha Pass, 32 in Broomfield, a gust of 30 out at DIA right now. So a little blustery out there tonight. Here's the satellite and radar. We put it into motion. Most of the afternoon, High level cloudiness was pushing in across the area. Now it's kind of just filling in. And in the last few frames, we're picking up just a little bit of light flurries in northern Weld County, Morgan County, Logan County up here. Some of that not making it to the ground, but there is some moisture there. And also up there uh, along uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, a little bit of light snow there. Not too much in the mountains yet. They had that burst overnight last night that kind of wafted away today. And now the clouds are just starting to fill in. We'll see the snow return later tonight in that area. Big moisture coming right out of Las Vegas here as we look at this. A little low pressure area sending that moisture in. That'll be the first batch of moisture that comes in for our big weather change. But the wider look, take a look at this. We've got our front coming through today. There's another one behind it right now that'll come through and drop our temperatures even more tomorrow. Then that little low over Las Vegas is right here and a deep trough off the coast here, right off the coast starting to move into California here. So everything coming together. Let's take it full and we'll show you how everything kind of just gets mixed up in the weather salad here. Now, the cold front that's going through right now, that's creating the wind. That'll drop our temperatures tonight and tomorrow. That little low will uh, shoot into some Southern Colorado tomorrow morning and by afternoon that'll make it into Kansas. That'll get some upslope going around Denver. We'll get some snow in the afternoon. Then the bigger low, the trough, moves into Las Vegas. And when that guy slides through, we'll see more mountain snow and another round of snow for Denver as well. These things are moving rather fast. So I don't think Denver and the Eastern Plains will see tons of snow, but we will get a little snow here, a little Monday, a little Tuesday, and maybe even a little Wednesday. Now let's start with the advisories now. In the purple shades, 6 to 12 inches, northern central mountains, 1 to 3 possible already out there in the extreme eastern plains. And then down there in the southern mountains, some areas could see 1 to 2 feet of snow down there. Here's what I'm expecting in Denver now. For uh, Monday during the day, maybe a half inch to an inch for us, a little more Monday into Tuesday, maybe another half inch to an inch. That might wind up with about one to three in Denver, maybe two to four up there in Longmont and Fort Collins by the time everything is said and done. It's going to be a little bit here, a little bit there, and then adding up to those totals. High today, it was cooler today. We only made it to 46 degrees for the high this afternoon. Big change uh, from what we had yesterday at 61. So tonight we'll be in the 20s, increasing clouds, breezy at times, light snow showers again, an inch or less during the day tomorrow, but close to freezing tomorrow. We stay in the 30s through Wednesday, a little more light snow on Tuesday, and then Thursday into Friday, there's a chance of overnight snow on New Year's Eve. Thursday night is New Year's Eve. I think by midnight we'll be dry, and then after that, a little light snow coming in for New Year's Day. Thank you so much, Dave. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.